Hello there and welcome to another one. I trust I found you well in good spirits. Today is a different one and more than anything, the reason for the channel is to make sure that we become a different people in everything that we do. And my job is to come to you every day to ask you, to speak to you, to motivate you and to do everything in between to make sure that you're a better person in physical terms, emotional terms and mental terms. And today is a different one. I came across a mate and uh, it's so sad our society always portrays one person just because they are working that they are invincible. That's not it. Black tax. Black T-A-X. It's a real thing. And I'm going to give you a live example where a parent will come to their child just because they just started working. And I'm going to use Joburg because it's the city of gold and everyone sort of comes this side to work. But yet you're coming from Zimbabwe, you're coming from another city, everyone just aspires to be in Joburg. And for the people in the States, I think everyone aspires to be in New York because that's the city that doesn't sleep. So I'm going to use Joburg because we're speaking about black tax and in Africa. And uh, parents are going to come to one person and say, you need to build a house for us. And rightfully so, you have to because they took you to university and you graduated and, 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 and. But then taking my son to school mustn't come across as they have to pay me back. As a parent, I have to take my child to the best school. I have to give my child the best possible tools and resources to make sure that they succeed. Now imagine someone starts working, you're coming straight from university, you're never going to earn, let's give an example, 100,000 rand impossible maybe it's possible somewhere but then you work your way towards uh, that goal or promotion or whatever the case may be but you find a parent telling you that you need to build the house now you've got 20,000 rand before tax the normal tax now the government is going to take their own let's take for example i'm not using the calculations let's take for example your take home is 15,000 rand fine from the 15,000 rand, you need to make sure that you build a home. Everything is expensive in Joburg. Accommodation is expensive. Transport is expensive. Clothing is expensive. Right? Now, from the you still expected to build a home at, at home. You need to build a house at home. And what surprises me is parents are expecting children to build them homes when they failed to. They failed to build those homes when they didn't have kids. How are you expected to build? A lot of people, a lot of black people are going through depression because the family is always expectant. And I always say that you cannot ask someone for money on their payday. Because now it makes sense that when we're growing up, you would ask your mom for money or your dad for money on their payday and they tell you they don't have money. It's true, they don't. People are living off overdrafts every single month because you're trying to cover that home loan. You're trying to cover loans for yourself. You're trying to cover student loans. Your siblings are going to school and everyone is just looking at you as if you go to Joburg and you go to Standard Bank FNB and say, can I please have three buckets of money? I am going home. And I've seen that as well even with us Zimbabweans. The moment you say you are crossing the border and you say, hey, auntie, I'm home, everyone just expects you to have money. Literally, everyone is asking you for some money. And when you say you don't have money, they're going to look at you as, but you're wearing nice shoes, you're wearing nice clothes. No. At the end of the day, you also have a life. So imagine you are paying your own rent, then you need to pay the loan for the house, for the building material. You still need to pay the loan for your student loans. You still need to pay the loans for whatever that you need for upkeep. And people are going to end up going into taking clothing accounts because you are working but you can't afford clothes, so you may as well take that on credit again. And because of that, we are just sinking more and more into more debt and more depression. Now, in as much as we can speak about, let's have a, a, a society that is strong, let's have a society that is strong mentally, but at the end of the day, it's pointless to be strong when everyone else is looking at you to be that guy, so you can't be weak. My advice is to parents. Black tax is real. I've got a nine-year-old. I never at any point want for, for him to provide for me. If he's going to give me money at the end of the month as appreciation, great, but he doesn't have to. 
He doesn't have to build me a house. If I fail to do that in my lifetime before he grows up and secure a future for him, I am the failure as a parent, not my child. And yes, we put pressure on these children to say, yeah, you need to give back where it started. But then there is nothing that hurts as when you're starting work, you're starting on a negative. I've seen so many white uh, friends of mine that are white that when they turned 21, they get, they get themselves a new car. The parents got them a new car, a new apartment. Already that child is already set for life because there is no mortgage. The next mortgage that they're going to have is something that they want when they are ready. There is no need for any car financing because they already have a car until such a point where they feel like, you know, it's time for me to upgrade. Whereas with us, for you to buy that first car, it's already tough because finances are not balancing. And then we turn around and we say black people are not savvy with their finances, but we're not understanding that where this comes, it cuts deeper. So one may be wearing a Nike shoe, the other one is thinking, okay, so even if I wear a Nike and I want to wear a Nike, I think when you are working, you want to spoil yourself, and rightfully so, because you're working hard for your money. But then at the same time, you're thinking, so if I'm going to spend a thousand rand on shoes, geez, I need to pay 500. Or mom is calling, mom needs money because she took some blanket or whatever that needs to be paid. Let's be easy on these kids. I don't want a generation of kids that are going to look at me and say, I've got black tax. At what point are we going to cut that curse? Because it's happening. And we may try and run away from it, but it's a fact. Black tax is real. Every black person starts on a negative. Every black person. And at the same time, we can still raise our hands and say, you know what, I'm so glad that my first car was not a handout from my parents or my first car was not bought by my parents. Great, well done. But then at the same time as parents, what is it that we are doing to ensure that the next generation is never going to look at us and think that, oh, I need to pay mom. I need to buy mom a house. It's all great if they are buying it out of the abundance, not taking care of family out of desperation. That as parents, I am a parent. You are a parent. If you are aspiring to be a parent, let's start something different to ensure that we, it's a curse. And any case needs to be broken down. Any case needs to be shied away from. Any case needs to be spoken ill of. Black tax is real. Comment down in the comment section. I've had people that are saying, I want to take my life. Because each time when it's month end, I get even more stressed. Have you ever been so stressed when you get money in your account more than you do when you didn't have money in the middle of the month? That is sad. That's where all this depression is coming from. That is where all this broken society is coming from. Because we are so angry as the younger generation. We are so angry at the fact that we still need to take care. Someone came to me and said, you know what, Mr. Titi, I'm paying for my mom's loan for a house that she never built. And they're still expecting more. And how much is one uh, earning? So much so that you take a loan and then you just squander that money. Parents also, we can be... I'm, I'm counting myself as parents. We can also be heartless towards our children. Because if you're going to get a loan and you squander that money and it doesn't do what it was taken out for, then what's the point? I've got a mate of mine that said I went to the bank and I wanted to take 5,000 rand because there was a, was a funeral. I ended up taking 100,000 because Capitec then said, oh, did I mention their name? Because they said um, they, I can qualify for 100,000. And that 100,000 just got squandered, and now you have to pay for it for the next 5, 10, 15 years, whatever the case may be. Finances. And we are so quick to judge that black people cannot handle their finances, but it is the society that we are living in, and we are stepping on each other's toes with regards to finances. I want to be the kind of parent that's going to tell my child that do whatever that you need to do. Travel the world. Do whatever you need to do with your money to the last cent, enjoy your money. Waking up early every day is tough. Waking up to still go back to work where there's an abusive boss or whatever the case may be, but you end up just doing it for the sake of, oh, well, what can I say? That is depressive. Parents, let's stop it. Kids, what can we do to change that narrative? It has to be changed. 
I'm so angry right now because it has to be changed. It's a narrative that has been going on for years and it has to change. Instead of building your mother a house, build you a house for your children. And I always used to say, if I'm down to my last hundred rand and my kid needs food and my mother needs food, my kid comes first, then I'll hustle for my mom. It's just the nature of it. You need to take care of your family enough for them to know that when push comes to shove, I know that I've done everything as a parent. Can you say that? And if the parents are watching this, let's be lenient. People are not earning much out there. Life is tough. The economy is rough. I wanted to say tough. It's rough. But we still do the best that we can and we still smile. We find a side hustle to try and get an extra hundred bucks. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we are enjoying it. So please be lenient. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Remember, stay safe, keep believing, and ciao for now.